I don't know about you, but I know for me, many moments in a day can all of a sudden just feel overwhelming. My mind is swirling with thoughts of what I need to be doing as a professional, <laughs> what I need to be doing at home, what I want to be doing for me. And sometimes it just feels like too much. So what do you do in those moments? Um, I have a five step process that I try to use myself. And I think of it as kind of the ultimate form of self care in those moments I need it. The thing I love about this process is that it's something that you can practice and do, you know, one minute before you have to be somewhere or show up on a Zoom or take care of somebody in your life. It's also something that you can deepen and expand if you have, you know, five or 10 minutes and want to sit with these five steps a little bit longer. So the way it starts is with awareness, right? So in these moments when we're feeling overwhelmed and stressed, the first thing that can help to start to calm down is just by being aware of, hey, what's going on right now? What's going on physically? You know, am I holding my shoulders up? Am I clenching my jaw? Am I tightening my stomach? Um, are my shoulders, you know, just really aching? Do I have a headache? So just giving yourself that kind of love and kindness in the moment to take a deep breath, let it go, and start to check in with the body. And the way that I like to do that is just a body scan. So closing my eyes and just allowing myself to sort of feel and scan just through my body. And I might notice right away, oh, my shoulders are tense. Oh my gosh, I'm holding my abdomen and in. I'm feeling tension in my hips. Wow, I've been sitting for an hour and a half and I haven't gotten up. And so you start to pay attention to where that tightness is and where it's held in the body. The next step can be kind of hard if you're not practiced at this, but I promise that there's a great reason for it and the more you do it, it gets better. Uh, and that's exploring and really feeling into that tension. So this is where there is a little bit of discomfort if we're not used to that, right? It's easy to all of a sudden say, oh my gosh, my shoulders are tight. It's another thing to give ourselves a few breaths and to sort of ask, what do I need right now? Could I let that drop? You know, where is that tension coming from? And so just giving yourself permission to feel into that again with your breath. And the third step comes in with recognition. So sometimes in different practices, it's helpful to put a label on things. In this particular practice, I would encourage you to try just simply recognizing this as energy and energy flows in and energy flows out. And sometimes energy takes up space and sometimes energy collapses within itself. So as you explore this tension, this stuckness, this feeling in the body you want to move, just simply recognizing it as energy and that it is there present. It's giving you a message, which might be a little bit of ouch <laughs> move through but it might also help you to just recognize that's all it is, is energy. And I can take another deep breath and start to just drop my shoulders down if you were holding tension in your back, for example. And, you know, it can flow through and out. And so that's the really the next piece is starting to release that energy. And as you're noticing, I'm cueing the breath a lot because the breath is an amazing tool that we're using all of the time that can help to expand tension. And as we exhale out, just naturally release. It's what the body does all day. And we have the capability to breathe more deeply into those spots, to bring our mind into that spot and imagine our breath filling it up. And as we exhale, just releasing and letting go. And then, as you start to feel a little bit more, you know, relaxation, release, calming of the body, wherever that tension originally was, you can simply start to energize that space again and to bring in a different feeling, perhaps it's opposite. So if it was tense before and you've started to release it, perhaps you start to energize that space with calm. I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but it really can work. So I invite you to play around with that in your body and to try this little practice of simply closing your eyes, doing a body scan, 
feeling where you're stuck or tight, allowing yourself to recognize it simply as energy. Begin to use your breath to release it. And then finally, bring in the opposite and allow yourself to have a different shift in your energy from tension to something that feels good and supportive to you. Thank you.